This is how to use the AI voice changer in any application. If you didn't see the previous video, here's a quick demonstration of it. Listen to this real quick. And then there's, of course, this. Alright, so let's go ahead and get this installed. To do that, we're going to need a virtual audio cable. So go to this website and go to audio apps. We're going to download this VB audio cable. So um, if you have Windows, use this. If you have Mac, use the Mac. So we're going to do Windows and then download it. Go ahead, open up the folder you downloaded it in. We're going to go to the folder. We're going to right click extract all. And then um, once that is done, double click into the folder. Scroll down to where it says x64 and double click into that. So here is what is going to pop up. So I already have it installed, but when you click into yours, it should look something like this. So um, we just go ahead and click install driver and it looks like we have we don't have access to the directory here. So what we do is just go ahead and right click and run as administrator. Yes, install driver and then go ahead and do trust software install and then we should be good to go. So, well, it actually looks like we have access to the VB audio cable in here. So if not, um, you're gonna have to reboot the system, but we have it here in this cable input. So if we go ahead and right click and go into sounds, go into playback and then recording, you should be able to see this cable output and then this cable output. Alrighty, and once you have the VB audio cable installed, you're gonna wanna hop in whatever application you're gonna use. I'm gonna show it off in Discord. And in Discord specifically, let's go ahead and change that. So head on over to the user settings. This is the test desktop app. And what you're going to do is scroll down to voice and video. And for this input device, you're going to change it to cable output VB audio virtual cable. And then output, it doesn't really matter because you're just doing the input. And so go ahead and boot up the AI voice changer like I showed in that other video. And then just go ahead and start. We're going to have to change a couple of settings here. Uh, you know, click the character that you want to have the voice of. Um, this is how your guys is probably going to look client, but I'm running mine in server mode. It's actually a little bit quicker so that I can run it at chunk of 40. I can even go 24, but 40 is stable. And for your input, you're going to want to go to your microphone. So mine is this USB audio codec. And then for your output, what you're going to actually want to do is this cable inputs right here this um, VB audio virtual C cable. Once you have that done, um, you should be able to now check out the microphone in here. So to do that, you wanna start the voice here. And then what you wanna do is click on let's check. And one thing to know, the let's check is actually a little bit broken, like it'll cut out, but don't worry, that's actually not how it sounds. So let's go ahead and no, test it ahead. and you can hear the, and you can hear kind of how it had a little bit of choppiness, but um, if we go ahead and join a chat. And so here's what I have in Discord. Um, so this is on the right side of my secondary account. This is my first account where I set up everything. And so all I have to do is unmute myself and you'll begin to hear you'll the other voice the is other being voice processed. Is so being processed. That, that is how it's going to sound in Discord to the other user. If I go ahead and um, um, mute again, it's going to go away. And if I go back into unmute, it's going to be just fine. So yeah, that is how you can get it set up in Discord and for any other application that you're going to want to have to use it on. All right, so that's going to be the end of today's video. It's a quick one. So if you want to see how you can actually get this tool installed, check down below in the description. I'll have a video on that. And don't forget to leave a like, comment, all that fun stuff. And I'll see you guys in a future video.